Hola guys, it's Courtney. I hope that you can hear me and see me okay. I am sitting on my front porch. It's really nice outside, so I just felt like I'd sit out here. I am going to share with you my video of exploring abandoned Detroit. This is some urban exploration uh, up in Detroit, Michigan. And just a disclaimer, it is completely illegal to trespass and break in somewhere to explore. So just know that if you decide to go do some exploring yourself, it is illegal, okay? It is also can be very dangerous. There is some obvious car. <laughs> there is some obvious structural damage to the buildings that have been abandoned, especially those that have been abandoned for a long time. You have to be very careful. Floors can fall through. You're stepping on lots of debris, nails, everything. So just be very, very careful. You may also run into people that are now residing in those abandoned buildings. Again, just be careful and know what you're doing is legal. So I want to give you just a little bit of background. I did some research on Google, who doesn't love Google, about the first building that I'm going to be showing you. And that is in the Brush Park area of Detroit, right across the uh, 75 from Ford Field and the Tiger Stadium at Comerica Park. So you can actually see both stadiums from the building. This is an old elementary school. It is called Stephen Foster School. It's an old elementary. In 1987, the Detroit Police Department started using it as a crime lab. So it was actually a crime lab. So in the video you'll see me saying, because this wasn't a planned thing, I didn't research beforehand, so um, you'll see me saying, I think this was a school, I think this might have been a police academy and whatever. So it was actually a school and a, crime, a police crime lab. So a um, lot of interesting and fun things in there. And just so you know, if you're viewing this and have malicious intent in your mind to go check out the school, there's nothing left for you to strip. There's no copper, there's nothing in there of value, so shame on you, but there's nothing left to do. So anyway, um, they've used it from 87 till, let me double check, I think it's 2008, they decommissioned it as a crime lab, but after that, they actually continued to use it just sort of as a transport in between point. So police officers would bring things there, evidence, tag it and bag it, it would stay there until it was put on a van and transported to the Bubian Street Station downtown Detroit. So it was still in use, so obviously it's not very long, and the building, for having been closed for a very short amount of time, relatively compared to everything else you're going to explore, uh, it is very, very destructed. And the reason for this is, with some further awesome Google research, crazy. The police chief, ex-police chief, uh, Mr. Evans, got in trouble because he was commissioned to tear everything down, get all the evidence bags, get everything out, and get it to the Bubian station downtown. Did not do that, so there was actually lots of things left over. And I mean lots of things. You could have gone in there and gotten, not anymore, it's all gone now, but um, evidence, like literal evidence from people, riot shields, live ammunition, lots of um, chemicals and uh, illegal drugs. I saw some pictures of some actual vials of cocaine that they had labeled that they had taken off people. What a stupid thing to leave in a abandoned building. So unfortunately there have been so many people that have gone through and looted because of all the items that were left in there and henceforth the building is so destructed. And um, that's pretty much what I'll tell you about that. It's obviously no longer in use. It does have razor wire up front on the fence. You do not need to cross it or go over it. And you do not need to destroy a single item to get in that building. There are so many ways in. The door on the side is wide open. The door in the back is open. There's entire windows, entire walls completely gone. You can just like step in from outside. Please, please do not go in there, destroy anything, uh, loot anything, or deface anything. That's not what it's there for. Um, it is so fun and so cool to see these abandoned places that have just been forgotten. And please just remember the old saying, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. So we use that here in Ohio for the metro parks. So that's sort of my motto when I'm going exploring. So take pictures, check out stuff, look at things, but you know, just leave nothing but your footprints. Don't destroy stuff. So I hope you enjoy it. And again, this is the Brush Park Poli Closed Police Station Crime Lab and also before that the Stephen Foster Elementary School so I hope you guys enjoy it and have fun and I do apologize the video is a little shaky um, obviously in a lot of places it's gonna be very dark so you'll see just 
flashlight light. So bear with it, it's kind of fun, and there's some stills inserted in there. If you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to ask. Thanks guys, and have fun with me in Detroit. Hey guys, here we are inside what appears to be an old school, although definitely going to have to double check that. But the building looks very schoolish. We're at the corner of Brush and Division in Detroit in the Brush Park area, mostly abandoned. Beautiful old mansions down here. And I hate to see this. I hate when kids feel the need to break window glass off the window when the door was wide open. Please remember that if you're ever exploring an abandoned building, don't do any destruction to the building itself. You can always find an open door, piece of plywood that, com that comes off. Don't ever break anything. Oops. Yes. Hey guys, for sure, it's a school now that I've gotten into more of the part of the building. Wide open, no glass, no wood, nothing. On the one side here, the floor is completely buckled and rolled, as you can see. And I did find a newspaper and check the date. And if you can see it, December 1st, 1987. So this has been abandoned for a while. Yes, we are. So inside the school, we have a safe, which is absolutely completely no date on there unfortunately which is absolutely completely empty and honestly looks like it used to be a janitor's closet not sure what you would have locked up inside of a school never know looks like a fun door with an open hand Judging by some of the more stuff we found in here, we're thinking more old police station or police academy. We have police report tags, property release tags, um, gun safe, bullets, shells, and military grade fries dried, freeze dried food. Another beautiful, completely open wall. And maybe you can hear the birds. Just sign my name, at least my handle and the date, which is really hard to read, on a chalkboard that I found with old writing on it that says keep the system shut off. Do not shut system. More lockers, lots of stickers, a lot of sports teams. And outside in a completely and utterly destroyed room building right in front, the small one, which I don't think you can see because the sun is glaring really bad, completely torn down. Out the window of the second floor here you can see Ford Field right there. And there's downtown. Here's the second floor hallway, although I know it's a little bit dark. Classrooms. And the stairwell. And a really cool window that you can see downtown out of. In what appears to possibly be a kitchen, there is a lot of countertopping and counters and cupboards along the whole wall. And that large white thing down here, and the large white thing right here, we're going to check that out a little bit closer. So on the giant white thing, which we can't tell if it's like a giant kiln slash laboratory item, science-y looking. Um, it's mislabs.com. I don't think that's picking up well, but that's what that says. And then here's the cautionary with a scientific corporation. 
of some sort. Alright, this is a giant white thing on this the right side of the room is we just googled it and it is in an Inceptor Biological Safety Cabinet. The picture had um a scientist with her hands inside but the rest outside messing with um, samples in petri dishes. Made it up a little less straight up ladder up to the rooftop of the supposed police academy. And it's covered in stones and it's super super hot on the blacktop out here. There's the brush park area. And here is downtown. It looks so great from up here. That's what we just climbed up. There's like a giant generator. Found a door with case files 2003. Have to Google when this place was actually closed since it obviously wasn't that long ago. Again, wide open wall to outside. On the second floor here. Weird little glass vials. This is the first piece I've seen in the whole building. There's a lot of tags and a couple fill-ins. But besides the tags and the fills, this is the first actual piece I've seen. It's pretty nice. I just stepped into the auditorium. It's very large, lots and lots of broken glass and everything in here. You can see right outside, no door. And I'm right at the steps for the cool stage area. Besides the small row of seats in the back there, these appear to be the only two left in the entire auditorium. Two right in the front corner, stage left.